retail market in the Ashanti region has been plunged into darkness due to an outstanding debt amount into 6 million Ghana cities. Leaders of the traders acknowledge power from ECG has been cut since last Thursday due to the outstanding debt. The market is currently running on power generator set on, a, on an intermittent basis. Yes, more. Presidents of the Kijeta Market Traders Association, Nana Akwisi Prempe, says the ECG has failed to keep power on at the market due to the 6 million Ghana cities electricity debt. According to him, the alternative power generator runs for five hours and goes off for an hour, a period that leaves the facility in darkness. Currently, Kijeta Market is disconnected from the national grid due to the high debt uh, the facility o electricity company of ghana is over 600,000 ghana cities that is equivalent to 60 billion old ghana cities uh, the power was disconnected last thursday dawn and currently the market is being provided power by the genset in the market at a higher cost to the detriment of the traders Nana Prempe has urged the traders to pay their bills and ensure access to separate meters to avoid disruptions in access and power. So we will appeal to our colleague traders that the management have made provision for each trader to get his or her separate meter. That will aid us to detach ourselves from the one bulk meter which supplies power to the market currently. Meanwhile, the operations manager of the KJT market, Nana Opoku Amankwa, says until the debt is settled, the facility will have to continue relying on the generator to power the market. So see a uh, generator now you know, we are only giving the market power because without light, you do not need to do When you are not going to do it, you will not Management is not going to do it. This generator now is you know, it's for us to be able to recover money so that we will be able to pay arrangement the best any is before you. And then going forward, Obiya meter, this situation will not happen again unless a general problem. Joseph Obin's report for Joy News.